Hi guys, welcome back to our channel, the number one place for people who love design, arts and all things creative. I'm Jacqueline and I'm an interior architect and designer here at DNB. and today's video is all about how to give your home coastal grandmother vibes. If you're not aware of this latest trend, then don't worry because I'm going to be covering it in depth in today's video. So I recently heard of this term because I follow lots of coastal interior design hashtags on Instagram and in the descriptions they'd keep on mentioning coastal grandmother or coastal grandma which intrigued me. And after researching into it I found that it's actually the kind of style that I love and funnily enough this is actually the book that I'm currently reading. So with all these things pointing towards this trend I thought it's about time that I do a video about it. Really, this interior design style is perfect for those of you who love traditional or a coastal design style, transitional, grand millennial, and of course, nautical interior design. So with that being said, if you are interested, let's jump in. So first off, what is the coastal grandmother trend about? The term was coined on TikTok by Lex Nicoletta and it stems from the fashion, lifestyles and homes of characters like Erica Barry in Something's Gotta Give, Jane Adler from It's Complicated and Grace Hansen from Grace and Frankie. All three are definitely a vibe. Okay, okay, and Frankie Bergstein too. <laughs> The TikToker said, if you love Nancy Myers movies, coastal vibes, recipes and cooking, Ina Garten, cozy interiors and more, there's a good chance you might be a coastal grandmother. The style is rapidly becoming the next big trend and there's even Spotify playlists you can listen to to get into the vibe. And Diane Keaton even reshared the original TikTok video the other day on her Instagram. Queen. It's basically all about living your life like it's a Nancy Myers movie and if any of you are like me then you can agree that that is 100% a vibe we all want, right? In terms of fashion, it comprises of a chic laid back style that has a coastal theme throughout. But of course, I'm here to walk you through the architecture and interior design side of things. So when thinking of homes, think the Hamptons, Cape Cod, Nantucket, Cornwall here in the UK and the west of France, anywhere where there's a relaxed beach atmosphere. The word coastal is in the name, so you're going to want to focus on creating a breezy coastal interior design style within your home, almost as if you were decorating for a beach house. For me, this look is all about creating a beachy interior whilst also keeping it chic and relaxed. Quite literally, if you walked into your grandma's house, you feel relaxed and comfortable. And if I were to pick three main words to describe the style, I would say coastal, simple, yet timeless. Now, this style isn't quite the same as the beach boho style because this one is more classic and refined with its furniture and home decor pieces. And of course, Nancy Myers movies are renowned for their fabulous production design and that's exactly what we're trying to emulate with our homes. To create this soft, flowy look, choose colours that are calming like neutrals. Beige, cream, stone, grey and stark whites will act as the base. And of course, to add that nautical flair, different shades of blue will add a certain serenity to the space. If you look at different beach house interiors, you'll notice that they play on the natural surroundings by drawing inspiration from the sky, sand and sea. Which is why you'll never really see dark woods or lots of black furniture, because we're not really going for a dusky, moody interior. You're wanting to expand on the light brought in from large windows in order to turn out a bright and airy scheme. Moving on to textiles, in terms of patterns, you've got your classic nautical stripes. I think it would kind of be a sin if they didn't make any appearance. But other than that, I would steer clear of loud over the top designs as we're trying to create a relaxed atmosphere. Unless you're into the grand millennial look, in which case you're definitely going to want to overindulge on the patterns. I think that patterns in small settings like scatter cushions would be perfect and they're also a great way to tie in those blue tones I mentioned before. When it comes to buying furniture and smaller home pieces, using natural materials that are found by the sea would just evoke that sea vibe even more. For example, sea grass, driftwood, wicker, sea stone which is a concrete like material made from shells and rope are all good choices to dress your interior, all of which create that cosy yet simple vibe we're after. 
Okay, so I feel like I've tried to go in some kind of chronological order. We've got the wall painting, our textiles are out, and now we can actually start to have fun at decorating our imaginary coastal retreat. And I think that there are definitely certain items anyone can put in their home to achieve this timeless look. First off being Parisian bar stools, they give ornate detail to any space, especially against the backdrop of a classic shaker style kitchen, an ideal way to create something delicious in the kitchen and entertain guests at the same time. Kitchens as well in this interior design style are always very light in colour and bright white cabinets are going to be a must. Paired with light marble countertops, and if you do want to inject some colour, a light blue tiled backsplash would make a coherent beach kitchen. You might already know that linen sofas are synonymous to the coastal beach house, especially ones with slip covers. The idea being that stark white sofas can become mucky really easily from sand and dirt, so you can just take off the slip cover and chuck it into the wash. This is actually the one we have in our home from Ikea, and it definitely is on brand for the coastal grandmother look. I find it doesn't get too dirty as long as I vacuum it every so often, and the great thing about them is that the covers are removable and once they're out of the wash, they don't actually crease too much either. For underneath the seating area, I think that a subtle pattern rug would definitely tie in that coastal theme a bit more, considering that the sofa is very plain. Think pale blues with simple patterns or natural fibres like jute, hessian or seagrass. Speaking of natural materials, to add some texture to the space, think of including wicker or bamboo furniture. And because these pieces stand out against the other items, these will be unique standout pieces within your home. If you're not sure what kind of wood to add to your design scheme, I think that's a common trait of coastal design is to add light wood furniture pieces alongside dark furniture too. For me, the mixture of both creates a more lived-in feel and less like a show home. And there's also an eclectic feel that makes the furniture seem like they're antiques. Combining all of these tones is also a great way to incorporate older items you may have in your home, or in fact, if you are an antiques collector. By having dark furniture and light furniture, we're keeping on brand with the grandma look. For the outside, if we want to enjoy an evening overlooking the sea in our imaginary beach house, we of course need an outdoor dining set to enjoy meals with all of our friends and family. And for gazing towards sunsets on the horizon, just like Grace and Frankie, quintessential Adirondack chairs, which are simple wooden deck chairs that originated in the early 1900s that are now found on seashores across North America. To tie our coastal interior design style together, we need to add some home decor pieces and to create that nautical style, I would suggest ornate model boats, blue and white chinoiserie vases, stoneware lamps, recycled glass ornaments, fan ceiling lights, or simple geometric chandeliers. I think any grandma's house has some kind of chocker block bookcase, which to me really creates that cozy atmosphere. Built-in bookcases are fantastic for creating an expansive wall of books, and by all means, put coastal books on display too. Books like Coastal Blues, A Lovely Life, Coastal Modern, Coastal Homes of the World, Simply by the Sea, Nantucket Island Living, one of my favourite chefs, Rick Stein at home, who is basically a coastal granddad, and a collection of coastal magazines as well. Coastal grandmothers are renowned for gardening, so I think freshly cut flowers would draw on the theme really well, especially hydrangeas that do well in coastal environments. And you could even try to grow your own vegetable or herb garden, which Laszlo and I are actually trying to do at the moment, but the birds keep eating the leaves. <laughs> Honestly, any advice from proper garden enthusiasts would be very welcomed. <laughs> But I always say that real flowers and plants add character to any interior, so these ones would be ideal for the beach style. The ultimate way to finish the space is to hang up artwork. And with the coastal interior, which in my opinion is quite unembellished, you can absolutely go a little crazy with the art. My only suggestion is that it should reflect the environment, so beaches, ocean, sea life, Sand, shells, sunsets, swimming and summer. Just anything to replicate the vibe we're conjuring up. Abstract paintings would work, antique studies of shells, watercolours of seaweed, photography of beach towns, just to give you some ideas. 
But like I've been saying throughout, as long as there's a traditional coastal theme mixed with the simplicity and coziness of your home, you would have achieved the coastal grandmother design style with ease. I actually have a whole playlist with interior design and home decor tips and I've leaved it linked in the description just in case you need any more advice. If any of you are new, then I just want to welcome you here to the channel where we talk about interior design, home decor, and all that cool creative stuff in between. So if any of that interests you, feel free to subscribe. But if you are already a creative crew member, then please give the video some love because by doing that, it actually really helps our channel to reach even more people. I hope that you enjoyed my coastal grandmother aesthetic video. I feel like I finally found the term to describe my own interior style. And I really appreciate it if you made it all the way to the end of the video and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.